USDA's latest progress report rates 75% of Nebraska's corn as good to excellent with 8% listed as silking. In soybeans, 28% is blooming, 9 points ahead of the state's 5-year average. Meanwhile, 70% of the crop is categorized as good to excellent. At Nebraska Extension's recent field day in Clay Center, we talked with Steve Melvin about crop water needs throughout the growing season. We started by asking about irrigation management in corn. Yeah, for corn, you know, drought stress is not a big concern, uh, moderate drought stress before uh, tassel time. And so, you know, this year's been very dry uh, and, and hot and we've used a lot of water and we certainly need some irrigation on some fields. But we always want to think about taking the opportunity during the vegetative stage with corn to give some moderate drought stress to it. It just has several benefits. You recently wrote on CropWatch about this topic and talked about the water miser strategy. Tell me about that. Well, the water miser strategy is some work that's been done at University of Nebraska as well as other places. It shows that that uh, drought stress during on corn during the vegetative stage really doesn't affect the yield very much. You know, if you have a too significant, of course it will, but some moderate drought stress, you know, some leaf rolling in the afternoon, um, come harvest time, you won't see a difference between that and, and what was fully watered. So it you know, provides an opportunity to think about it. But then the water miser strategy, when you get to tassel time, you want to make sure the crop's fully watered. The, the uh, flowering stage or pollen time is, is the most sensitive time for corn with drought stress. So you want to make sure that whatever you do, you're, you're aiming to have it in really good condition uh, at, at uh, pollination and early grain fill. At that point, that's when we really start to think about yield impact? Absolutely, absolutely. A little bit of drought stress at that time will have a major impact on yield. What are the water needs around that time that you need to start thinking about? Well, you just want to have it fully watered, and so it just depends on the weather that we're having. You know, sometimes it might be only, you know, 15 hundredths or two tenths of an inch a day if it's, you know, a cooler day. If it's a really hot, dry, windy day, you know, it could be, you know, 35 hundredths or four tenths of an inch pretty easy. And when do you look at that through? So at what point in corn do you have to maybe not worry about irrigation quite as much? Well, once you get to the, the uh, dough stage, then we can start backing off just a little bit. I mean, by the time of year, the days are getting a lot shorter sunlight time, and it's usually cooling off. The plant, of course, has a full deep you know, root zone, and so we can start backing off a little bit then in, in uh, early part of August, and then um, you know, start shortening it a little bit on the water, you know, wait an extra day or two before we start irrigating and, and try and use up some of that subsoil moisture that's still there. And, and that doesn't affect yield either. I should ask about the root zones. I mean, I think some people are worried that if they were in a wetter situation earlier on in the year, the root system isn't developed enough and it can't get down to the water and therefore they might need to develop. Can you address yeah. that? Well, once in a while we can have some issues that way, but for the most part, I mean, you want to monitor it and keep track of it. With soil probes always, you know, a good friend when you're scouting those kinds of things. But for the most part, we can pretty much always count on corn having uh, a good root system, you know, that's by tassel time we're down to three feet and, and then later we can figure down to four feet um, and, and use the water up a little bit deeper. How different are soybeans when it comes to irrigation? Well, with soybeans, there's been a lot of research done over the years. It really doesn't show a lot of impact from, from drought stress early either. I mean, that's kind of a general thing with a grain crop. We can, you know, as long as we keep the plant moving along, I've seen some times when it was really hot and dry and, and we really need to keep enough water on the soybeans so the plant develops and you've got a nice full canopy, a big plant to, uh, you know, go to work when, it's, when it gets to putting uh, grain in the pods. But, uh, you know, up until the middle of July, we really don't need to worry too much about it with soybeans either. And then, of course, you know, during the end of July and into August is when they really respond well to irrigation. Mm -hmm.